Hello everybody, Andrew Fantasia here, and some news, very big news, just came out, so we gotta talk about this because this is too exciting not to talk about. So the good folks at CMON have released a video telling us all about what we can expect, and I say all about, but really they gave us one tiny taste, one large tiny taste of what we can expect in this upcoming campaign. Namely, a big purple man with a big appetite. But before we get there, let's bury the lead a little bit and talk about some of the other things that were revealed during this video. First of all, they touched on Spider Geddon just a tiny bit. They didn't want to reveal too much because they said that's going to come later after the campaign's done. But they did answer a question that I asked in the Spider Geddon video I made. Turns out Superior Spider Man is going to be an anti hero. He's going to be purple, which means you can play as him or you can play against him. That is wonderful. And it makes sense because it's Dr. Otto Octavius in that suit. So bring it on. Bring on all the purple characters. Speaking of purple characters, but wait, we'll get to him. We'll get to him. They also revealed more about this new solo one hero mode called Commander Mode, which for all my fellow MTG players out there might make you think you need a hundred card deck and, and some kind of special character, but I don't think that's what's going on here. It looks like you, uh, and they explained it, and, but I just couldn't really process what it was going to look like yet because I didn't see gameplay of it. But essentially you're going to pick a hero and then you're going to take a handful of power cards from other hero decks and make a separate deck with that. That's kind of like your support. And then you also have these special separate support cards that you can play to do more things to your own benefit, to make it a little bit easier since you are being outnumbered and outgunned by whatever villain you're facing. That's another new interesting thing for people who like to play solo like me, even though I don't usually go for their solo modes. I just play it as if there's three people. That's how I roll. But this might be interesting to try out at least once. They touched a little bit more on the gear cards and how those are going to work and how you flip them over and exhaust them. And most of them can be unexhausted, but they were hesitant to reveal more about those because, I mean, I feel like that's a big meaty part of this new campaign and they want to save it for the Kickstarter. They also could neither confirm nor deny that season one and two characters will be getting gear cards which means it's pretty much a given. Finally, Helena from Simon was kind enough to answer one of my questions that I put in the chat because I wanted to know, you know, we saw this cosmic ghost rider figure and he looks great, but he doesn't have flames, red flames on his head. And season two gave us some characters with flames that looked gorgeous, like Dark Phoenix and Firestar. And they gave us characters with water that looked amazing, like Namor. I'm still holding out in my heart of hearts for a Hydro Man with that, because that would be beautiful. So I asked, if uh, we would see the fire and water effects in the minis in season three. And Helena basically said, yes, you just wait and see what you are going to get in terms of fire and water. The designer Tiago went on to say that, you know, they can't do that all the time because it's more costly to do that. So they'd really have to pick and choose where they put their fire and water. And I think they picked and chose, chose? Chose is not a word. I think they picked and chose some of the right places considering what we saw next. Let's get to the big guy because he's coming and he's hungry. The coming of Galactus was the first expansion for this multiverse campaign that they announced. And the size of this box, my God, um, I, I got just a taste of it from the image that they uh, included at the end of this trailer here. Galactus looks bananas. He's, you know, he's not huge in the grand scheme of things. He's maybe a little bit bigger than this bottle of water, but he's big. And that's how he should be. And the box is going to be thick to compensate that. So this is going to be a monstrous, chunky box. But what made me really excited is just all the stuff that comes in this box. Because not only are you getting Galactus, but you are getting all new locations, all new minis. The locations are continents on planet Earth, which is really thematic. And they talked about how cool it was where uh, you can see here in the image, some of the continents on the Eastern Hemisphere are facing the sun. So you can see Galactus's shadow over them, whereas the ones on the Western Hemisphere, it's nighttime. So you just see the city lights uh, across the continents. They also said that for your starting location, the heroes have to start in the location of wherever you yourself live on planet Earth. So in my case, I would have to start on the North America space. That's what a cool little addition that they added to this thing. Just going this little extra mile. Galactus doesn't walk around because that makes sense. He's too big, but he's facing all the different continents and apparently where he faces is important. So when you draw a card and he turns around and rotates, he's going to be doing damage wherever he's facing. And also you've got to deal with his heralds, baby. 
He's got four heralds that come in the box. Those heralds are Terax, Fire Lord, the Frankie Ray version of Nova, and Airwalker. And take a look at these minis. There are some fire effects on these minis and how they look gorgeous. The Nova one is pure fire. She is all fire. It looks like even her base is on fire. Uh, and she is on my wish list. So let's go ahead right now, jump to the wish list, and cross her off. Put a nice little mark right there because we got another character that's showing up in the campaign. And once again, if you did not see my wishlist video, it's the first video we posted here on Digital Charcuterie about Marvel United Multiverse. You can watch it at the link below. We're going to be tracking as the campaign goes on how many of the characters on my wishlist that I made end up making the final cut. I hope it's all of them because that's how a wishlist works. So these four heralds are going to be part of Galactus's um, battle and you have to contend with them. And what makes me really, really excited I loved when they did this with the Thanos box, is that those four heralds can also be played separately as their own villains. That was one of the reasons why I shied away from the Apocalypse box, because yeah, you got these four horsemen, but they're just these four horsemen that you fight with him and then that's it. With Thanos, you had the Black Order who are their own villains. So yeah, you get Thanos, you get the four members of the Black Order, or three in that case, and then you get the gauntlet if you want to do the whole thing. So it's like five games in one box. Apocalypse was two games in one box. This is another five. This is what I'm talking about. This is beautiful. It's exactly what I wanted them to do. I don't know who Airwalker is, but I'm glad he's here because more heralds, the more the merrier. And apparently the heralds can be interchangeable. So if you want to try seeing what happens, if Red Skull is one of his heralds, Andrea Caravesio said, go ahead. It's not always going to work perfectly, but you can plug and play. That's the beauty of it. Galactus, of course, cannot be defeated because you cannot punch a man who is bigger than planet Earth. You have to blackmail him by stealing his nullifier. So playing against Galactus is not a fight. It's a heist. That not only makes me really excited for playing this, but it also makes me really excited for the inevitable movie where he shows up in the MCU because that's probably exactly what they're going to have to do. Now, one thing that I want to kind of zoom in on uh, because it interests me here is this Galactus box, you'll notice it is not, even though it's part of the multiverse campaign, it's not under the multiverse banner. It's under the Fantastic Four banner which is something we saw in season two. That raises some questions for me. And those questions it raises are, when we start seeing expansions come out during this Kickstarter, are they going to fall under different banners? Are we going to get some expansions that are like, yes, this is a multiverse expansion. Look, it's about whatever. And then are we also going to get some expansions where it says, this is a Spider-Geddon expansion because it's got you know, five new Spider-Man characters. This is an X-Men expansion because here's some more X-Men characters we haven't given you yet. That would really be something else because then you just got a grab bag at that point and this guy likes that kind of thing so what do you think do you think that's what's going to happen here or are we seeing the beginning of a season three that's all about trickling in leftover characters and ideas from everything we've seen so far because if that's the case wow that's all i can say uh the designers were asked during the q a whether this was going to have more characters than season two and from the sounds of things again they can't confirm these things but it sounds like if the funding keeps happening and you know people keep breaking through those stretch goals yeah it sounds like that's exactly what we're in for so if you needed any more incentive to back mu multiverse this was it so those are my thoughts on what we got on today's live stream. The Galactus box is gorgeous. I'm so excited for it. I can't wait till next January so that this can be a thing in my hands. As always, if you enjoy this, yeah, do the thumbs up, do the subscribe, do whatever you like. You can also see more of me on my own channel, the Andrew Fantasia YouTube channel, where I talk about movies and TV shows. And I'm also a writer. If you like video games or adventure or romance or action or all that stuff, they all come in here. This book, Side Scroller, which I wrote, that's my name right there. And you can buy Side Scroller in paperback or ebook on Amazon right now, if that's something that floats your little boat. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, everyone. I'll see you all next time as we reveal the next step in this master plan.